Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and we are here at the 45th Annual Annie Awards. Excuse me. <laughs> well, you're adorable. We were looking at your soft shoe. It was fantastic. Oh, well, I'm a dancer from the time I'm four years old, and I've been working in show business 84 years. Well, so. tell us about Tinkerbell. How did the job originally come about for you? Well, I got a call. I was over at Fox, and they called me and said, they're interviewing for a three-and-a-half-inch Sprite who doesn't talk. Get over to Disney. I went, Disney? Disney, I'll be there. So I went over and went to Mark Davis's office, and he said, here's Tinkerbell. And I thought, oh, oh, oh. So I did the scenes for her, for Mark Davis. And because I'm a dancer, all of her movements are our dancers. What's a good signature Tinkerbell move? <laughs> that's a great one. I love that. <laughs> well, that's what he said. We want her to be disgruntled. And I said, Mark, what, what do you mean by that? You know that this genius took a piece of paper and within about 20 seconds drew her face just the way he wanted her. So I got to do all of her scenes. And when you see Tinkerbell, you see me. Oh, I love that. Do you have a favorite scene that Tinkerbell participated in? Well, yes. The one where she steps on the mirror and she sees herself for the first time. And her hips are too big and she marches off. <laughs> I love that. You know, it's amazing too. Tinkerbell is one of the most popular characters amongst adult women. Did you know that? Oh my. <laughs> Listen, when I go to all the parties, people are celebrity shows and so they're right there. But you know what the interesting part? I have many, many, many times very handsome men, large men, about 40 years of age, 50 years of age, come up to me and look around and say, roll up their sleeve and they've got Tinkerbell tattooed on. <laughs> I love that. What an honor, isn't it? Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, uh, and I have a book that I write about this called Tinkerbell Talks. And in it, there's a picture of a lady where she said, and her daughter backed up, that Tinkerbell and Happy Thoughts saved her life because she had a Tinkerbell tattooed. And every time she got depressed, she thought Happy Thoughts. It's a great legacy. I love that. I tell you. Well, uh, it was the way that Mark Davis drew her, the storyline that they had. And, of course, I, when I stepped out in front of the camera the first time, I said, Mr. Davis, that's how long ago it was, uh, you called him Mr. I said, what do you want her to be? Do you want her to be ditzy like Betty Boop? You want her to be above it all like Queen of the Fairies? He said, Margaret, we want her to be you. Ah. Happen. I said, golly gee, I think I can do that. And you brought her to life. And here you are all these years later, and we're still talking about Tinkerbell. Yes, yes. Uh, it, it is a blessing. It is, uh, I, I could have been the actress who had her throat slit, in, in, you know, in Psycho or something. But no, I got to be Tinkerbell, who brings happiness to everybody and magic. And I'm not the... Tinkerbell that slides down from the Matterhorn. I have people who ask me that, and I, you know my answer? What's your answer? Do I look crazy? <laughs> You're like, no, I'm the one that gets to dance around. This is fantastic. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. I'm going to let you go off just like Tinkerbell would. Well, you are just a dear. And did I get your name? My name is Kristen. Kristen, nice to meet so you. So nice to meet you. Who's that? That's JD. Hello. And this is Amy. Hello, nice to meet you all. What fun this is. So much fun. Yes, and somebody thought of a red carpet. It works. It totally works. Bye, Tink. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite animated film was last year.